In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Launchpad X with older versions of Live, such as Live 9 and Live 8, and give you an overview of the functions on the Launchpad. Your Launchpad X will work as a standard MIDI controller inside older versions of Live, and you're able to create custom templates in Novation components to be mapped inside Live. However, you won't be able to take full control of Live Session View or Mixer. You are able to control these functions in Ableton Live 10. So click on the link below if you'd like to install your free copy of Ableton Live 10 Lite. Connect your launchpad to your computer using the provided USB cable. Open the preferences by going to Option and Preferences on a PC or Live Preferences on a Mac. Go to the Link MIDI tab and ensure that the settings are configured as shown on screen. Your Launchpad X is now set up and ready to use with older versions of Live. With the Launchpad X, you can play your instruments and devices freely and expressively with the 64 RGB velocity sensitive pads. Velocity sensitivity means that the pads detect how hard you've pressed them and this gives your performance a more expressive human feel. The note mode on the Launchpad X has two different modes, chromatic mode and scale mode. In chromatic mode, which is selected by default, blue pads represent the notes in the currently selected scale, like C minor, for example. The purple pads represent the root note of the scale, and the unlit pads represent the notes outside of the currently selected scale. You can change the currently selected scale in the note mode settings, which you can view by pressing and holding note. Use the scale viewer to choose a root note, and use these 16 dark blue pads to select a scale type, for example, major or minor. Press note again to return to the chromatic note view. If you want to hide the notes that are out of your selected scale, return to the note mode settings by pressing and holding note, and turn on scale mode by pressing the red pad in the top right of the grid. Press note to exit the settings, and the Launchpad X will now display only the notes that are in the current scale. This allows you to play freely without ever going out of key. Custom mode turns the Launchpad X's 8x8 grid into a deeply customizable control surface. To access custom modes, press the custom button. The top four scene launch buttons will be lit and can be pressed to switch between custom modes 1, 2, 3, and 4. Custom mode one is a drum layout. Custom mode two is a chromatic keyboard layout. And custom modes three and four are unlit templates that send different sets of MIDI notes. The custom modes can be totally customized to control anything using note messages, MIDI CC or control change messages or program change messages. You can create your own templates, browse existing templates, and back up your templates using Novation components, which you can learn more about at novationmusic.com forward slash components. We'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new launchpad. If you are, then that's great, and we're excited to show you the next steps in your launchpad journey. But if you require any further assistance, then we can direct you towards our support team.